Hey guys, it's me, Mae. This is the Mayhem Show. This is the Mayhem Show. Hi guys, it's me, Mae. I am at the beach. I'm here in Laguna. Just got here. I had a couple days off, so I decided to do what I love, which is go to the beach and just chill by myself and enjoy the day and just listen to the waves and just chill. So, yeah. I went to the gym earlier. in Hawaii at Scarlet on Saturday um, and then hopefully some local gigs uh, next week hopefully fingers crossed we'll see what happens um, but yeah just wanted to check in with you guys to say hi see what you're up to before I uh, take me a nap and listen to the ocean and get back to nature I don't know there's something about the beach that always like just gets me right centered again so I need to recharge so What are you guys saying in here? Miss me at VIP. I miss you guys at VIP. I miss home. I actually uh, have been home in Riverside for two days for the first time in a couple months. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I won't be at uh, VIP on Friday or Saturday because I'll be back on tour. But I do miss you guys. Um go live and show my hotel room. I don't have a hotel. <laughs> I'm actually at home, so. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you. I, I try to be an inspiration. I try to share my stories of life and hopefully they reach people and touch people and inspire people and, and help in some kind of way. That's what we're here for. <laughs> to help each other out in this existence that we have on this earth. So, that's what I'm here for, to help out and brighten other people's days. Uh, hi, Max. Hey, Delta. Um, you didn't call me back, you stupid bitch. So, <laughs> I would need you to call me back because we have some things that we need to discuss. I have some notes for you. back in Europe? Uh, good question. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta figure that out. Um, hopefully soon. We're rescheduling my UK tour. Um, so hopefully uh, when I reschedule that, I can pick up some other gigs and do a little tour out there. Um, yeah. UK, yeah, England, yeah. Sorry, that tour got canceled, so um, I'll be back hopefully soon again. Um, Berlin, I would love to come back to Germany. Germany was so beautiful, and I had such a good time there. And the men are fucking stunning. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I need to be coming back there. Damn, when you eat cereal, do you pour the milk first? than the cereal. <laughs> I love these kind of fucking questions. I wish people would ask me more shit like that because it really fucking makes me smile. It's so fun. And it's lighthearted. I like that shit. It's never... You know, I, as much as I love answering questions about Drag Race, it gets fucking dangerous. It's, it's, it's so repetition. It's always the same thing. And there's always someone digging for fucking drama. Um, but to answer your question, pour the cereal first, then the milk. Um, loved my Hey Queen interview. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it was actually one of the, my favorite interviews I've ever done. Um, I felt Johnny really like asked me some good questions, and uh, the viewers who didn't know me as well probably have a better sense of who I am. So, I love that interview. is calming. 
Oh, you look so sweet. Thank you. Um, I've never heard that. My voice is calming. The funny thing is, I don't like the sound of my own voice. I mean, watching Drag Race, like, I was like, is that what I sound like? Oh my god, there's a naked baby over here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the sound of my own voice. But I hear this quite often with people. When they hear what they actually sound like, they don't really like it. Um, Washing my feet with Monet Exchange earlier. What? I don't know what that was. Uh, I see some love from Dallas. Hi. Um, love me and detox on Fashion Photo Review. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Fashion Photo Review has been fucking so fun. Um, I'm happy that uh, WoW asked me to fill in while Raven and Roger were gone. Um, I'm happy because now I get a little bit more camera time for people to see my personality and um, a lot of people are like, oh wow, like I like you. And I'm like, uh, yeah, stupid. You should have been liking me from the first, <laughs> from the jump off, stupid bitches. <laughs> but yes, I'm having so much fun with Fashion Photo Review and hopefully after, um, uh, after when the girls come back from their gigs, hopefully they'll have me fill in a little bit more. Um, Hi, Mayhem. My seven-year-old son, Jeff, says, Hi, <laughs> hi, Queen. Hi. Hello, Jeff. Uh, you need me on the Tins Across the Board tour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. About that. <laughs> you still remember the incident that happened on my life? <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a break off that because I was so terrified that someone was going to report me for what had happened and that was, yeah, that was the best. Uh, what are you talking about, Morgan? No, I won't. No, I won't what? Wait, Mayhem, I had my first gay kiss wearing your shirt. <laughs> You're a good luck charm. Oh, well, congratulations on your first gay kiss. And, um, thank you for buying my shirt. And hopefully I get a gay kiss soon. I haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> um, what was the incident? Um, I took a call from a caller and he was jerking off. <laughs> yeah, he had his complete big dick on the screen during the call and wasn't wasn't what I was expecting at all. Have I seen Dusty recently? Random question. Um, no, I missed... Dusty was here a couple weeks ago in LA, and every time that we were supposed to meet up, I had something come up, and so I didn't get to see, see her when she was here, but um, hopefully I'll be seeing her soon. She actually joined my live the other day. I love Dusty. Best. Yes, it is. I love pineapple. We love a drama-free queen. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's, why have drama? Shit, life is too short. Why have fucking extra baggage and stress put upon you? You're supposed to be enjoying life. That's look at me. I'm fucking in peace. Hanging out at the beach by myself. I enjoy fucking peace in my life. I'm too old to be fucking having drama. And so don't, don't do it, you guys. <laughs> when people fucking try to lure you in with bullshit, fucking let it go. What came first, egg or the chicken? <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna have to say the chicken. Yeah, cause like, yeah, I'm gonna go with chicken. Because then the chicken has to lay the egg for there to be a chicken. But then that means that if the chicken was first, it had to come out of the egg. I know, it's so fucking fucked up. But I'm just going to go ahead and just believe that I'm a Christian and stuff. So I'm just going to say, God made a chicken so that I can have an egg to make more chickens. <laughs> um, Aloha from Hawaii. See you soon. Pineapple and pizza? Absolutely. Sometimes so. Not the whole pizza, just like a, like half the pizza, so you can have a little bit of that, and then have like regular pizza. 
when am I in San Diego again? Uh, the end of the month. Um, garlic bread with cheese. <laughs> okay, someone asked me this before. Garlic bread with or without cheese. Without. Absolutely fucking without. Don't ever put some fucking cheese on some garlic bread. Because then that's cheese bread. And I don't want cheese bread. I want garlic bread if I order garlic bread. Um, so, uh, someone wants to ask me a private question. Go ahead and DM me and I will hopefully answer you there. I usually answer all my, my uh, messages on in my DMs. I try to at least. Cheerios or regular Cheerios. Fucking Honey Nut Cheerios, duh. <laughs> Even though I do like regular Cheerios here and there sometimes, um, but I always add stuff into my cereal, so I'll put uh, blackberries in my cereal. Yeah. I'm so cute. Thank you. Uh, when, when is Morgan going to be on Cops again? <laughs> to be she's <laughs> it's gonna fuck up my tan shut eat shut your fucking mouth bitch i have a year year round tan i love my voice someone else <laughs> y'all are really about my voice right now that's hilarious oh thank you um Gosh, wait, I lost my spot. I uh, can't wait to see me at New York DragCon. I'm excited to be at DragCon too. I had a really good time for uh, the one here in LA. It's really good to like meet the fans and stuff. I'm so happy because the kids that were set up next to me or their family is leaving right now. Thank God. I fucking can't stand kids. Especially when I'm trying to relax. I don't want to, like, I love kids, but not when I'm fucking trying to chill. Fuck, I don't want to hear you screaming and shit. Ohio. Hi. Morgan asks, is there any trade on the beach? Actually, there's a couple. I'm at the gay beach, by the way. Um, there's a lot of girls here today, which is odd. Um, there's no trade, though. Mm -hmm. Which I'm good. I'm happy with that. I didn't come here for trade. I came here to fucking rest, so. You know. Um. up and read your guys' questions. Hold on. Um, do I want to do fashion photo review forever? <laughs> um, no, I don't want to do it forever because that's not my gig. That's someone else's gig and I'm not into stealing someone else's fucking shit. Um, if they would love to have me guest often, I would love that. Or how about I just get my own show? How about that? How about I get my own show on WoW? I think that would be great. I actually have a idea for a show, but I'm not going to put it out there because I don't want anyone else to hear it, and then they steal it from me, and then I'd be upset because, um, yeah, that would suck. So, hopefully, once, uh, I get a chance to pitch my show, hopefully they'll pick it up, and then you can see me a lot.
Jeff says, wait, Jeff said, yes, queen, hi. <laughs> oh, Jeff, that's sweet. Morgan, I need you to fuck off. Um, let's see. How did I, how did I meet Detox? Um, I met Detox. Shit. God, it's been over ten years. Um, let me think. Maybe twelve years? I don't know. Been a very, very long time. Um, she moved to LA. So, whenever she moved to LA, I think it's been 10 years. I don't know. Anyway, she moved to LA and she started going out like you do when you want people to find out who the fuck you are so you can get some bookings. And I remember uh, my daughter, Rhea Latre, was like, Oh, you need to meet this bitch, Detox. She's she's really cool and she loves to party and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Ugh, no, I'm cool. Because people always come to LA and everyone's always like, oh, you should meet someone, so you should meet someone. So I'm like, no, I don't care. Anyways, so one night we uh, had our show at a bar called Here Lounge at that night, and uh, at the time, and we uh, did the show. She wasn't in the show, I don't believe, but she was there, and we kind of like got bored and was like, do you want to go next door to Motherload and have a drink? And she was like, yeah. So we went to Motherload. And we stayed there all night, and we drank for free. And we drank Jaeger all night long. And then we met these two guys, and they were cute. They ended up taking us home. Um, and nothing like that happened, but we went and drank up all their fucking booze at their house. And once we realized it was probably like 9 in the morning that we probably should leave and go home, <laughs> we, uh, we ended up leaving, and I remember we were walking past an elementary school in full drag still, but just after a night of partying, so we looked like gross hookers, and the kids were like staring at us, and it was weird, but you know, that was the first night I ever met her, and after that point, I knew that she was going to be one of my best friends, so here's the story how me and you talk tonight. There are other stuff involved in that story, but I know children are watching, so... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you all that stuff. Uh, nudity, question mark. I don't understand that question, but elaborate some. Do I watch Queer Eye? No, I do not. Um, would I do All Stars? Absolutely. taking calls. I actually, you know what? Let's take a call. Um, i trying to scroll. Let's see if I saw anything. Favorite snack after a gig? Always uh, tacos. beer over there. I want a beer so bad. I'm trying not to drink right now, you guys. Oh, man, I hate birds. Fucking seagulls everywhere. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Hi, honey. How are you? I'm good. This is my second time being on your live, and I'm freaking out a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh welcome. God. Thank you. Um, well, I just wanted to say, I realized the other day you were one of the first drag queens I ever saw. Because really? I was watching YouTube, and I saw a video that I remembered watching, and it was on BuzzFeed where um, the Try Guys tried drag for the first time. Mm -hmm. I was like, I feel like I've seen this before, so I watched it again, and I knew I'd seen it. And I realized you were in the video, and I was like, oh my god. So, basically, you were the first drag queen that I ever saw. Oh, my gosh. But, and then that just kind of led into me loving Drag Race. So, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was your first. I'm usually <laughs> everyone's first, so I, I love that. Um, 
but yeah thank you oh my god and you were just so amazing and i loved you on drag race and fashion photo review is so funny just, <laughs> yeah well I, I can't wait for the next episode i know neither can i <laughs> <laughs> but i'll definitely be watching it and thank you for talking to me again uh, wow well thank you for coming <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Morgan is so silly. She asked if I asked the Lord and Savior. <laughs> asked Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. I, I have, girl. Have you, though? After all these years. I need to know if you're saved, if I'm going to see you in the afterlife. Let's call this next person. That person dropped the call. Just kidding. Let's go here. Well, oh, I can't wait to get in this water, bitch. I'm over here sweating and shit. Mayhem, can I do a backflip? <laughs> can I do a backflip? Sorry, I read that wrong. Can I do a backflip? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fuck that. I do drag, not gymnastics. <laughs> um, what city am I in? I'm in Laguna Beach. Okay, well, this caller is not picking up, so... This one said, save my town for uh, Hawaii. Actually, I can't save my town for Hawaii because I'm not even going to be there long enough to get a tan. I'm literally flying in, getting to the room, shower, shave, get in drag, do the gig, and fly right back out. I will be traveling longer than I am actually performing and being in Honolulu, which fucking sucks. That happens a lot with where we go, you guys. Um... Let's take one more call. We'll try one more person. The last two people didn't pick up, so let's see what happens. Um, that person didn't pick up either. Okay, so I guess no one's like trying to talk. So this is what I'll do, you guys. Um, I'll sign off for now, and I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm going to get in this water, and I'm going to take a nap. And yeah, maybe I'll check back in later on. But um, until we meet again, know that you're beautiful, and don't let no one tell you different. Bye. <laughs>